Welcome to Life of Queen Sandy, family, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all already know who it is, Queen Sandy, the queen of Inno, you heard me. Right now, Queen Sandy's with her lovely family, about to go and make some groceries, you heard me. Say what's happening, babe. What's, what's happening, up, mama? What's up, y'all? What's happening, YouTube? Now we about to go and get us a basket and load up. How you doing, sir? Sorry about that. Your girl Queen Sandy, my gorgeous daughter Princess Naya in King Spring for the Whipstop. My husband is about to go get a whole bunch of meat, real food, you heard me. Fill up our house. I done already cleaned out our kitchen cabinet over the weekend. Now it's time to load it up with food, ladies and gentlemen. Basket. And now you gotta make sure that you get your brothers and stuff too. Let's see what kind of deal they have in here. Now the this though, ladies and gentlemen, the chicken wings be inexpensive. I think this is the cheapest though with the chicken wings. Now you see anything that you want? On this aisle, mama? There go your ranch. Prince Wap love his buffalo sauce. Okay, so they just want me to share the link on the video on the birds that been posted. I thought he wanted me to. Like, send them the video? Yeah. Now we need ketchup and stuff. We should wait till we get to the aisle. This is the aisle, baby girl. Their barbecue sauce is. Normally barbecue sauce be a dollar, but I'm with your girl Queen Sandy gonna grab four bottles of this 198 barbecue sauce and when we do get to the other aisle if we find any cheaper we'll get that ladies and gentlemen. Now they didn't left me with the basket. Now you why you wanna help me mama with the barbecue sauce, baby girl? Mama got it. Well, you can fix it up since you won't all meet with it. Did y'all get the chicken wings, baby girl? Uh, I didn't grab they don't even have none, but I know these shrimps right here is something that my husband loves. So we, my mom, grab two bags of these shrimps right here at the bottom, baby girl. us from going to the seafood department unless we go to but you know we'll go to fiesta and go and get our head on <laughs> now this bacon is inexpensive your girl queen sandy gonna grab four packs of this bacon grab four packs of bacon mama. You already know mama needs her a bottle of cream up in my coffee, baby girl. I'll put that one back, the one, the ones that's open back, mama. And get mama caramel, I can grab that one. I'm gonna like caramel in my bottle. Babe, did you get some of the shredded cheese? Then we gotta, we already know that school start next week on the 13th, so we gotta make sure our babies have food for the bring with them for breakfast and lunch for school. I'm gonna want none of that. You got food standing gonna grab. Now, yeah, you want this Mexican style blend cheese and what other cheese, my mom? What other one? We gotta make sure that our baby girl have what she wants for school. Now you go to school scrap with it every day. Right, now we need our vegetables and stuff too. We need some potatoes, onions, bell peppers. 
I guess if you want, I'm going to utilize this basket for the cold drinks and like the noodles and the potato chips and stuff. And y'all juices, because y'all need something to drink for school every day, mama. And I'm going to get y'all some fruits too, something healthy. Your girl Queen Sandy get a bag of these and put it in my little fruit bowl and sit it on our table in our dining room. Here, baby girl. Now we need some bell peppers and onions. Get you four tomatoes, baby girl. How you doing, ma'am? Mama gonna grab, right there, no, mama gonna go and hold mama wallet, baby girl. Let me go and grab a bag so I can get full potatoes. I mean, full tomatoes. You got mama saying potatoes. Well, I'm saying the potatoes. Mama gonna get that after mama get the tomatoes. While mama doing this, you can grab the bag of potatoes, baby girl. My baby girl love fixing her salad, so I'm gonna get her full, full tomatoes. 98 cents a pound. I'm gonna grab like four and weigh it up. Hold this, mama. Put the potatoes in the bag. Hold that bag with the One. You think mama gonna hit it on the nose with mm -hmm. the weight? Let's see how much of a pull your mama is. Come on, let's go put it on the, put it on the scale, baby girl. Let's see how accurate Queen Sandy is. Not very. Well, that, that, look, that's still one pound, little man. <laughs> we can't cut a piece off of the tomato to have it accurate. You, want, you can leave it in this basket, my mom. That's enough for you. Huh? That's enough for you to tomatoes. The last thing we needed them to go bad, but since Daddy brought us that new refrigerator, they last. My husband up there mixing down his video that. He recorded earlier with his sponsorship. I'm so proud of him. We need bell peppers, mama. Get a bag of them onions. We need to get this for our crawfish. I should have wore a purse with a handle on. You like my husband told me. No woman should never go without it, you heard me. This is what my husband taught me. Like, be every time we go to the store and you have your purse, put a seatbelt on it, you heard me. So your girl can send you to go and call this my purse seatbelt. Not yet. Oh, you can go ahead, man. Now you got pockets. Yes. I'm gonna show about to wrap that up around that little seat belt. Let's go get some bell peppers, baby girl. Now the bell peppers up in here is a penny cheaper than in Kroger. As long as you saving some money, baby. How you doing, ma'am? Get us four, mama. Well, you hold a bag and mama put it in the bag. One. We need the big old bell peppers. right together. 
it's a nice big one. And we're gonna also get two more bell peppers, my mom, for color. Excuse me, ma'am. Your girl, Queen Sandy, is gonna get a red one for 138. Let me see if I can get the biggest one that I can find. You got a good eyes, my mom. Get the biggest red bell pepper. That's big enough, baby. And a big yellow one. Now the orange bell peppers, the yellow bell peppers, and the red bell peppers, all of them is a dollar and 38 cents. Shoot, this one up here. This one right here will do it just right, my mom. Let me get this one. Y'all know my baby girl approved. We don't need none of that. You need some lettuce, my mom? Today is gonna be our baby girl first day baking a pie. What kind of pie are you baking, Mama? Raspberry. Where did you learn how to make a raspberry pie, Mama? Baby, our baby girl, first time baking a pie. Well, a raspberry, because she baked the sweet potato when we were her mama, you heard me. Your girl, Queen Sandy, been baking sweet potato pie since the age of 13. From scratch, baby. In a project. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your girl, Queen Sandy, is going to grab two boxes of these 42 count potato chips that's for $19.98 and hopefully in the back of the store they have the spicy ones because that's what my kids and the kids that come to the sweet shop love and that's profit all day you heard me a dollar a waffle of potato chips and you get 19 you're paying $19.98 so that's a profit all day $20 $20 Welcome to Life of Queen Sandy, the place Jana, where I'll show you how to flip the her. Let's see if they have the spice for kids. Our kids used to love these ones to be small. kind of losing out with $2, which is, is nothing. But normally we prefer the, the 42 count of these. So mama gonna grab one of these. Now do you want, what kind of, you want some of these juices mama for school? Which flavor you want baby girl? What kind of juices you want, babe? My husband loves these juices too. What kind of juices you think All we should get, babe? Strawberry, kiwi, grays, and fresh cucumbers. Oh my God, they actually have different flavors today. We gonna get one of each. You never go wrong with getting one of each. I put one of them green ones in the bag. Oh, yeah, the juices that they be having at y'all's food getting out for lunch and lunch. Ain't nothing like making sure your kids straight for school in the morning, baby. You got, Daddy got waters? All right. We need some noodles, but I know on that other aisle over there, they have the whole case. Profit all day, profit all day. And what I really love about this though, because they bring me back to when I was a little girl with my nanny Gwen in the Alberville. Mm -hmm. 
Now, what candy do you think we should get, Mama? Yeah, I know um, that. We got to get the peppermints. We're going to probably get some bubble gum and some strawberry candies. Yeah, you bought a bunch of bubble gum. And I think the kids like them lemon heads, too. But don't get no more bubble gum. You bought that real big thing. Oh, yeah, thing. I forgot we ordered that. Please, girl, please. Let's see if I could get this right on the scale, baby. Maya, how many scoops you think it takes to make a pound with these lemon heads? One and a half. This will be over now. The science kids. A little bit more. Like mama working a seafood department, baby. Mm -hmm. Bam! So all I'm gonna have to do is get one of these twisted things and write the the code on it. Can't beat that. Two ninety eight a pound. Even though I know our kids don't eat this up anyway. I eat them peppermints all day. What kind of candy do y'all want? Um, I know last time you like those sour punches. It don't really matter because I don't really be eating the candy like that. Now daddy like these. I mostly eat the chips. My husband like these. Got it on the nose. Yeah. You think wifey got it on the nose? Oh, that's over. <laughs> Bam. Two more. Now look at my <laughs> baby on it to be accurate, accurate. All right. Bam! Hello. How you doing, sir? Be like, yeah, this two pounds. Like. <laughs> yeah, bro, that'd be eleven hundred. Brother gave me one and a half pounds of shrimps. Told me it was two. Let my mama write down this code. How you feeling, Queen? Like a tree and all this, baby. Always. And the same as you, little man. All right, that's enough on the candy. Time, like, boom, boom, time boom, to meet shop. Boom, boom, boom. Why are you not pushing the coat? Bro, you need to sponsor me. Sponsor us, Earl. Come on, we use we Earl. Need that Look, we be gonna have, we gonna be having that crawfish and on um, rotate like a mug. Everybody in, be in the comments talking about who is Earl. When my mama be trying to say and put the Earl in the food, y'all be like, who is Earl? This is Earl. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what we love about this store is that frozen crawfish is inexpensive. Even though normally we'll go to a fiesta and get the live crawfish, but over here, this the cheapest store you gonna get them in, baby. Out. Can't beat it. You can't beat that. Everybody else, we want $14 for a bag. This is the cheapest though. If you can't beat them, join them. No, keep shopping there. <laughs> it's about getting a bang for your buck. You heard me saving a dollar. Yeah, that's right. Right now, the kind of whole, everybody is struggling, you know? Yeah, that's right. Everybody is struggling. Yeah, that's right. Everybody is struggling. Yeah, that's right. Everybody is struggling. 
and if you could if you have if you find a stove that have low prices stick with that stick with that stove ladies and gentlemen that's what i advise all life of queen sandy and family viewers to do stick with that stove welcome back to life of queen sandy and family ladies and gentlemen y'all already know who it is queen sandy the queen of no you heard me now ladies and gentlemen your girl queen sandy and her great family just made it back from the store making groceries and all great job king and queen babies working together putting these groceries up you heard thanks me. babe the stick was right where you said it was at now let your girl queen sandy open up this door and go get some footage and stock these potato chips up and I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up that garage after I finish stocking. The store is open, you heard me. We spent actually less than we thought that we was going to spend. Now, stocking the sweet shop ain't no different than when y'all be going to Walmart seeing the workers up in there stock while everybody shop, you heard me. So if a customer come here while I'm in the process of stocking, I'm going to stop, serve them, you know, make our family's sweet shop money and restock again. You got to keep it going. Your girl, Queen Sandy, going to put these hot Cheetos up here at the top. Put these Doritos right there. These kids love these hot potato chips, baby. Can't never not have them. One of the greatest feelings in the world is actually working for yourself. So since this was one of the last stocked up stocking items from last time we restocked, I'm gonna sit this on the side. I'll bump that down. Let me grab all these Doritos off this box. So how are life of Queen Sandy and family viewers doing today? Are y'all ready for y'all kids to go back to school? I know every morning my husband and I make sure that our kids straight going to school. Having something to drink and something to eat. That's one thing about it. Your girl Queen Sandy also gonna mug down these Lamine potato chips as well. That came in stock with the last inventory item. Nobody really don't eat them. So that be like kind of the loss with when you buy them. Being honest with you. But the only reason that I buy because every other potato, the, every other item, every other kind of potato chips that they have in the box, the kids do eat them, but nobody don't really care for them. So. And they making these hot Cheetos hot about a day, baby. Put the regular Cheetos right here. The regular thing is hot. And your girl Queen Sandy ain't gonna stop until I fill up this whole stand. Throw that, I'll let my kids throw that away later. Let me bust open this box, the 42 count. Of the normal regular potato chips. happy that our kids up there putting them groceries up because that was a bunch of food that we brought and y'all already know we're gonna be making a video every day baby and i have to go up in there and help my mama whip up her pie we ain't seen baby girl as a pro in the kitchen can't do it like our baby
this y'all baby's potato chips and they also have adults that love these too mm -hmm, the or something like that because you want that little cheese taste in your mouth Now these, I could eat these all day. I have to stock it like that because once I open up that other box, it's going to fill them up, fill up all the leaves. Because there's not enough leaves up in this box to fill up that one. So what your girl Queen Sandy is going to put these plain Cheetos right here. I think I should lower my camera a little so yeah, the high viewers can see. The Dorito Cool Ranch right there, baby. Tuna fish too, baby. Get your girl Queen to get these Doritos out the box. It's the last of the restock in this box. Throw that right there. Get that out my way, you heard me. Now these right here, this is the regular nacho cheese Doritos. I'm gonna put this right here for now. Until I bust open this other box, baby. And I'm, when I finish doing this, I'm going to go to the front of the free shop and look at the dates on those the other potato chips to see if any is, is expired because we're not going to sell expired potato chips to the kids, baby. We'll eat them ourselves because we know that they feel good. Oh, we can mark them down how cold we're in the, the stores, the neighborhood stores do, ladies and gentlemen. But if we want to sell something that's expired, I make sure that I advise the kids that it, that they expired so they can let their mama know that they expired so they don't think that we intentionally and purposely sold their kids some expired potato chips, baby. And, that's, and my husband and I teach our kids that as well. When they come up in here and work in the sweet shop, we tell them to look on, on at the dates of all the inventory items, you know, so it's just like when you change and shifts at a, a job, everybody have to do their, their part. So our kids know the, know the rules and the, the rules of the game too and, and conducting real business. We do business right in this neighborhood. No matter where we go, we do business right. gotta pay no lease until we find a building that we want and that we can see us conducting business in you know but it's a lot to think about when you actually starting a business you got to think about all the overhead you get a building you have to have the lights on you have to have the water on and you have to still keep it everything at float at, at, at maintaining your own residence you get what I'm saying and if business not doing well you get what I'm saying so it's best to start my advice Queen Sandy's advice to anyone that want to start a, a business, start being a sole proprietor on your own first, you know, and see how that goes before investing in a, a, a building to see if you can actually handle the overhead, you know. Thank you. 
wonder what that is, baby. Thank God I didn't have to clean up the sweet shop today. I just had to straighten off my desk. Well, our desk a little bit. It's basically already still clean in here. Now I'm gonna have to wipe down that refrigerator a little bit though before putting the cold drinks and the juices in there for the kids. And sanitize the pickle utensils and stuff like that so when the kids wanna pickle, you know, make sure that I'm ready so I ain't gotta, you know, when they come and ask for a pickle, I ain't gotta go inside and go and get a some tones and a fork and, and a cup with some water and my gloves and stuff. Let's put this right here for right now. Now there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So ladies and gentlemen, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe to Life of Queen Sandy and family. Make sure to not set your expectations too high, but not high, but high enough that y'all can reach them, ladies and gentlemen. And also hope everyone is having a great and blessed day. Remembering to keep God first, not setting the expectations too high, but high enough that y'all can reach them, ladies and gentlemen. And also to those that's not having a great day, pray about your situation and God will get you through it, ladies and gentlemen. Can't do it like the queen of N.O., you heard me? Look at that there. We got dollar wop potato chips on rotate, you heard me. Let your girl Queen Sandy head up in here and see how my kids, how our kids are progressing with working together, putting up these groceries, you heard me. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. God is good. We love y'all. And keep those subscriptions coming, those likes, those comments, and those shares. And make sure to hit that post notification thing, you heard me. Let me go in here and check on my husband and my kids, baby. I know they're doing a great job up in here. You know what, your girl Queen Sandy gonna keep this camera on and see how far they didn't got. Cause you can't do it like our babies. Let's see how far they got. Your girl Queen Sandy don't wanna get copyrighted. How far y'all got? They ain't got no more groceries on the floor. Great job. We going Great good, job. Come on, give mama some, mama. Huh? Give mama some, son. We did that. Give mama some first, boy. Now, nah, so y'all y'all can't do it like Queen Sandy and King Smurfs, three great kids, you heard me, who oh, will no. be successful by any means, you heard me. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Life of Queen Sandy and family. And make sure to keep going first. Don't set your expectations too high, but high enough that y'all can reach them, ladies and gentlemen. And also to those that's not having a great day, pray about your situation and God will get you through it, you heard me. Mama's so proud of you, mama. Man. This is our gifted and talented Princess Naya, who will be the first female producer in our family, ladies and gentlemen. Mama needs you with a confident face. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you got to own that, baby. Yeah, look. And ladies and gentlemen, every morning when Naya get up, she drop a fire hit beat every day. Every day. Come on. From school to home. It don't get more determined than that. And also her big brother, Big Abzi, and Prince Wop, you heard me. So let, we wait, raising our kids, right, you heard me. Anything else, got to go. Yeah. Peace out. Make sure to keep going first. Don't set your expectations too high. But high right, enough okay, that y'all can reach them, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now. Mama proud of y'all, babies. Randy was climbing up that pole. He was. What? No, because no, <laughs> my, my baby said that in life, you climb to get... Uh, oh, to, the yeah. to the top. To the top. To the top. That was a climbing up a fold. Go ahead. Right. Thanks for I'm, helping, I'm, Mama I'm, Prince. Why? Your girl Queen Sandy about to take these fruit roll ups and these airheads and put it up in this jar. And these two extra Laffy Taffies and place it in the Laffy Taffy jar, baby. Y'all see these lemon heads? Y'all already know this self-explanatory. This is going to go for a nickel. Girl, you said you're going to spray this 
jaw down and wipe it down. It's sanitary. So we won't be transferring none of these germs to these kids and also the adults because their parents be wanting candy and potato chips too. It's nice being a little a neighborhood store. And being honest with you, besides my nanny and how we used to do it on Tulane, I think, me personally, like I said, that's how my confidence is. I think this is the greatest sweet shop ever, baby. And I know my nanny went proud of me. The girl Queen Sandy gonna take this little wrapper off of the low pops. Now, since I didn't already open up them lemon heads, the bag of lemon heads, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna place it up in this jar. And get like a candy dish and put them in our living room. That's enough for now. So your girl Queen Sandy is gonna get use the towel and wipe this price off and put it for a nickel. All I gotta do is just wipe off that period in that seven, you heard me. And for now, your girl Queen Sandy just since we already have these nickel strawberry candies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna put the blow pops in here. My husband and kids love these things. This is King Smurf favorite right here. I ain't ain't much lie. our viewers doing today isn't today a beautiful day that's why I wore my little sundress that's how pretty the weather is now your girl Queen Sandy gotta bring these lemon heads inside with me put that up put all this stuff in this trash and let my kids throw these cold drink boxes away and these potato chip boxes away in the trash and also Make my mark, make our markdown ba basket for the items that haven't been selling. I'm gonna sell it for less. This, and also I have to walk around to the front of the sweet shop. I'm gonna sit this right here for now. This is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. You see how I have the potato chips and stuff right here? We're not in July anymore. So your girl Queen Sandy got to take all this off. This ba basically was display, and we can't sell this to the kids. All this is expired. So I got to take remove all these items, even though my kids should be doing this, but they helping their mama out with putting the groceries up and cooking and stuff. I know all these items expired because we purchased it on the same day. So all this is going to be marked down. No, I'm just going to bring this inside and we'll just eat it, you heard me. Now, so far, ladies and gentlemen, what your girl Queen Sandy just done, I opened up all the cases of the cold drink and, and I also cleaned out the freezer, baby. So your girl Queen Sandy about to show y'all how I get down New Orleans style and restock our family sweet shop freezer, baby. We got some dollar big red, you heard me. Just love these big reds. After your girl Queen Sandy stock up these big reds, big, I'ma stock up our fruit punch. Let your girl Queen Sandy throw this over here. We also got some shots of fruit punch. As y'all can see that our kids done a great job putting up the groceries, baby. Your girl, Queenie Sandy, had to wipe down the doors of the freezer. So when our customers come, the cold drinks could be nice and cold, you heard me. Also, I'm going to go and get the waters. That's what we need, the waters. 
but I'm gonna try to save those majority of those water spa kids for school. I love how kids work together, putting up all the groceries. Now, now you're about to bake her pie, baby, and I know that this raspberry pie is gonna be delicious, baby. Go in there and help my baby girl whip it up and get us some Life of Queen Sandy and family footage. I'm trying to figure out what I should cook today. I said I wanted to fry some fish and some french fries or some fish and potato salad. Something simple. Now there you have it. Now your girl Queen Sandy is about to restock the juices, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to put the juices on the door of the freezer. How many of Life of Queen Sandy and family viewers own a stove or work at a stove? Jump in your girl Queen Sandy and Life of Queen Sandy and family comments and let us know, ladies and gentlemen. And also, I have the, we have some can you seen up in the video when we was at the grocery store making groceries that we got some delicious candy. So your girl Queen Sandy had to clean out those jaws and put our candy in there and put the price on there. Now there you have it. Life of Queen Sandy and Family Cold Drink and Juice Restock, baby. A dollar a cold drinks and 75 cent juices, you heard me. Two for a dollar fifty. Now let your girl Queen Sandy shut this freezer, baby. Hmm? Why you hey, mama, baby. Freezer? Because mama just restocked the cold drinks and the juices, baby. Boy, if you don't take that off. You up in there helping your sister bake the pie? I don't know what I'm about to do. Actually, she said, do y'all want to help? And I said, yeah. Tell her mama going to be in there in a little while to help bake it. And make sure to leave the queen in and know a fire comment in reference to how I restocked our sweet shops. Potato chips, baby. And also the cold drinks. And the juices. So meantime, in the meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, God is good. God is awesome. And everything that we do, we need God for it, you heard me. So ladies and gentlemen, peace out. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's a life for Queen Sandy and family, baby. We love y'all and hope everybody feeling good. And to those that's going through something, just stay strong, y'all. Got this, you heard me. Peace out from life for Queen Sandy and family. The queen in know you heard me. Straight like that, baby.